This is going to be a full body workout that can be great before any workout, whether it's going to be in the gym, outside of the gym, on trails, running, whatever it is that you're choosing to do. Just follow along. All you're going to need is to be having a light set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use plates, you can use soup cans, or you can just use your arms and not have to have a weight. So um, we're going to start. We're doing one round through all of this. We're going to start with 30 seconds of mountain climbers, nice and easy. So a strong position in a plank, arms are nice and straight. You're going to alternate running your legs towards your chest. Ready, set, and go for it. So for 30 seconds here, we're trying to prevent any bouncing up and down like this. I want you to keep yourself nice and strong and stable, just bringing those knees to your chest. If you need to walk it, that's absolutely Absolutely okay too. Keep your arms strong. Make sure that you're keeping yourself in a good position. If it's too hard, you can elevate your hands onto a bench or a couch or something like that to make it a little bit easier. Good. From here, we're going to go into a rotating low lunge. So let's take our right foot onto the outside of our right pinky. Our left leg is nice and straight. We're going to take our right arm, reach it up towards the ceiling with a good strong reach. Then you're going to try to bring your right elbow down to the inside of your right foot. And we're going to do five of these. As you're reaching, I want you to also think of that left leg. Straighten and squeeze the quad and the glute of that left leg and then rotate down. If you can't get your elbow all the way to the floor, no worries. Just try to get a little lower than you are right now. Reach back up and come down. <sighs> Exhale, slow that breathing. Let's go ahead and plant our right hand, reach our right foot back, bring our left foot onto the outside of our left pinky. Straighten that right foot, push, foot, push through our right hand. You're gonna reach your left arm up in the ceiling, come down, lower that left elbow towards the floor and right back up into it. Nice and strong, breathing through it. Two more. Reach up for it. Nice. Lower yourself down. Big, big, big reach. <sighs> Exhale, come down. We're going back for 30 seconds of cardio. I mean, of mountain climbers. Ready, set, go. In that good, strong position. 30 seconds. Maybe you pick your pace up a little bit. Can you find yourself into like a, um, I don't know, we'll say 70% effort. So a little bit harder here. Good, strong position the whole time. Bringing those knees up toward your chest again. If you need to march it, that's okay. We just want to prevent bouncing. Keep yourself good and controlled. Think of your shoulders staying over your wrist. That helps on this one to keep yourself from bouncing. From here, we're going to go into a chest flat. So go ahead and lay on your stomach. Let's put our right arm out to the side. If this is too much, you can bring your arm lower. It's going to be a little bit easier. But right arm's out to the side. Pin your right shoulder on the floor. From here, you're going to take your left leg, you're going to bring it up and over to try to touch it to the floor. If you don't get all the way to the floor, that's okay. If it hurts, back off or don't do it. Rotate into that. You should feel a stretch in your shoulders, your right shoulder, your right pec, so the front of your chest, maybe in your back a little bit. Just breathe. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So left arm out, pin that shoulder. Bring your left leg over, feel that open. Again, if it feels funny, back off. If it feels like you need to put your arm lower to make it easier, then do that. But this should be just a nice, easy opener for that chest. One more, and we're going to go back into 30 seconds of mountain climber. So find that good plank position. Again, if you need to have your hands elevated, then do so. Here we go. Run those legs. 30 seconds. See if you can pick yourself up to like 85, 90%. So it's not a sprint, but it's getting closer. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You're doing great. Strong through your core. Part of a warm-up is to get your blood pumping. We really want to get your body warm, right? As well as get your joints and your muscles prepped to work. Good work. And we are going to move into your dumbbells now. So find those light weights. We're going to do five reps of each one of these things. The first is going to be a Cuban press, which means I want to have my shoulders back. Pretend like I have my shoulder blades against a wall. Keep them against the wall. From here, my dumbbells are facing this way. And I'm going to... Pull my shoulders back flat, bring my elbows up, rotate up so my elbows are now at facing at this 90 degrees this way, press up overhead, stop at 90 degrees, lower slowly until I feel like I feel a good stretch in my shoulders, and then come back up. What we want to prevent, we're doing five of these, we don't want to round forward. Your job is to keep those shoulders back the entire time. If you find this difficult, get your back against a wall and use that wall as a cue to keep your shoulders flat. Control it down, nice and strong. If this is too much, which sometimes it is, you guys do it without weight. It does not have to be with weight. Press up overhead. Now we're gonna come into five full front raises. So still the same weight, quads tight, buns tight, core tight. Raise those weights straight up in front, palms facing down. Two, 
three, four, five. Hinge forward with a good flat back. I don't want to see you here. Puff that chest out. Now we're going to fly our arms out to the side. And you're going to give me five, two, three. It's called a reverse fly. Three, I'm sorry, that was four, five. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to, you know it, our trusty mountain climber. This time we are at 95% effort. Ready, set, go. Make it fast. Move those legs. Push, 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 push. Keep working. Challenge yourself. Come on, you got this. Keep working, keep working, keep working. See if you can go a little bit faster than you are. Pick that pace up, light on your feet, tighten your core, shoulders over your wrist. I'm sorry, yeah, shoulders over your wrist. Keep pushing. Very good work. You're doing awesome. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest for a second. We're moving into three Cossacks on each side. So you're gonna have your legs nice and wide. From here, we're gonna move our weight into our left leg into a side lunge. Flip your right toes up towards the ceiling. You're gonna feel a stretch here. Flatten your toes back up. Slide yourself over. Side lunge, toes up, foot down, slide over. And we're gonna keep doing these. The goal here is to keep our body as low as we can. So I wanna to try to prevent coming up and over. Instead, it's gonna be slide myself over, rotate, and we're going back into a full sprint, 30 seconds, mountain climbers, last one. Ready, set, and go for it. Full sprint, as hard as you can go. Push, 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 push. Challenge that pace, challenge that pace. Keep working. Breathe, strong through your core. It's only 30 seconds, guys. It's only 30 seconds, come on. Push it, push it, push it. Pay attention to your head. Make sure you're not sagging your head. Keep it nice and flat. Keep working for me. Give me five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stand up for me. Our final thing for our warm up, you should be sweating now, I certainly am, is gonna be a Jefferson curl. So controlling your heart rate, I want you to have your feet together. I want you to stand nice and tall and we're gonna articulate down our vertebrae one vertebrae at a time. So first thing we're gonna do is drop our chin. Then we're gonna drop our shoulders. Then you're gonna think your first vertebrae down that back one at a time. Notice my legs are staying straight. My arms are a little bit in front of my toes. My hips are not going back. They're staying right over my ankles. And if I hit in range, I stop. Goal is to get as far as I can without bending my knees, feeling that stretch, and then we're gonna reverse it. So make sure your quads are on tight so your knees aren't bending. One vertebrae at a time, you're gonna start uncurling. As soon as you can start squeezing your buns, I want you to squeeze those glutes. One vertebrae at a time, letting your shoulders and your head be the last thing that come up. Well done, you guys, good warm up. Go look at the stuff below, get through the workout, do the optional stuff if you want to, finish with the cool down, have a wonderful workout, leave your comments below, let me know how it goes.